All right. So this Desert King is a lot bigger than all of my other fig trees, only because it's been grown in the greenhouse. Uh, I have to kind of yank really hard at it and uh, pull it out of the ground, take it out of the greenhouse. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so this Desert King is probably 10 feet tall in a three gallon pot. Look at that. Um, the tag I had on it is totally girdled. So I'm gonna have to clip that with a, uh, a wire clip. But look at that. That's a Desert King. Almost twice my height in a three gallon pot. Anyways, I'm gonna put this guy outside, most likely put him in ground, um, cause they do just fine outside. Plus it was literally taking over the entire greenhouse. Uh, I have to pull out this black Zadar next, and then that Tacoma Violet. Uh, the greenhouse is just Overgrown, <laughs> to say the least. Ah. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I have another ripe fig today. This is actually a main crop, Dr. Gwadi fig, um, and it is a green fig. It's a good size fig. Feels like about I don't know, 50, 50 grams or so. Somewhat productive. I've got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six figs on this single branch. That's pretty productive in my book. Um, Dr. Gwadi is a brand new fig to me. Um, and this is, I think, a second year tree or maybe a year and a half. Pretty tight eye off of this fig. Let's pick it and um, see how it tastes. All right, that's a Dr. Gwadi fig. Cool uh, stretch marks on this thing. The splitting on here looks very neat. Good size. You know what? Um, I just want to make mention or secondary mention about this Jack Lily fig right here. Uh, I've tried another fig on this tree yesterday and it was a good three times better. Um, it was juicy, syrupy, and much, much sweeter. So, you know, even even without in the same tree, I think there's variances within uh, taste and flavor. So, you know, it's really hard to judge a fig by just a single fig if it's not ripened properly or other environmental factors may have caused it to uh, just not taste as good as it should. Um, so, yeah. Jack Lily uh, definitely gets a little bit higher score with that other fig that I tasted the other day. Check this out. Now this was sold as a Paracho Ramada. Um, I hope it's a Paracho Ramada. Got it from, uh, I believe it's Marius. And we shall see if this thing will turn colors or stay green and, and yellow like this. So this is the Dr. Gwadi. This is a main crop. 56 grams, 56 and a half to be exact. Let's cut this guy open. So I feel like I'm getting much better um, production in terms of figs this year because I've been a little bit more diligent about uh, watering them uh, daily as well as fertilizing them. Uh, appropriately so um, lately I've been using uh, the gosh I'll put up a list or I'll put a list down in the description of everything that I use um, and I do it they, they say you're supposed to water every third watering but you know for outside pots that's really hard to do for like you know a collection like this where I have hundreds and hundreds of pots you can't do that every third watering so I've been watering 
and fertilizing. Um, actually, I've been fertilizing about once a month or so. Uh, it seems to work out pretty well. And uh, you know, all the fruits are showing a lot of productivity. So there's the Dr. Nguadi. Looks very nice, syrupy. Looks sweet. Looks delicious, actually. Let's try it out. All right, so let's try out this fig. First time trying this fig out. Uh, I'm gonna cut it into fourths because you never know when Nolan's gonna show up and, and want his take. He's, uh, he's got an uncanny ability to sniff this stuff out. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh, it rained a lot yesterday, so it's a little bit more watery than it should be. Um, but it, it's a very tasty fig. There's a certain freshness and brightness about each bite. Watch as you can kind of peel that off from the skin. Mmm. I like it. It's subtle. The sweetness is probably about like a six, six and a half flavor wise. Um, there's a lot of seed crunch, kind of like raspberry almost. Uh, and it's hard to describe. You know, it's kind of a light melony, strawberry-ish tone to it. Um, and, and, and sorry if I repeat that description a lot, but a lot of figs kind of have that kind of flavor profile. And this one does too. Um, let's put the scores up. And um, you know, it's good. I like how it's productive. Six figs on one branch. And hopefully when this thing gets a little bit bigger, that it will be uh, even tastier, even more productive, and uh, a good keeper to have. So that, that's the Dr. Guadi fig. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.